They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. Let's go fly on your rebel, you more than one together. However, you go ever and ever after high. Fall and ever after high. And time for the cooking class's big fall bake sale. Treats and sweets! Step right up! All for a good cause! Don't get it. We're running out of gingerbread houses! But not running out of customers! Mm. Isn't it perfect? I could watch cooking class all day. So clean, so efficient. <gasps> the perfect picture! We really need more! <laughs> Perfectly imperfect. That's more like it. This is for the yearbook. People would remember us like this. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> the bake sale, they need more gingerbread upstairs, like now. But we only have one left. I have an idea, a duplication spell. How can we help without using Raven's magic? Uh, nothing personal, it's just not always, you know, um. <laughs> uh, safe. Hey, I got this. You are here to help. It was the most successful fundraiser ever after. But only the beginning of Raven and Apple's disagreements over the yearbook. No, not these ones. These won't work either. The Blue Moon Forest Fest is tonight. How can I hike into the Enchanted Forest for the biggest party of the year if I can't even find the perfect shoe? <gasps> there it is, a glass hiking boot. Stylish, but sensible. A good choice. It's totally you. But is everything okay? You seem a little stressed. Oh, I guess I'm just distracted. Everyone wants to go with me, and I can't decide who to invite. Well, you know I'd come, but I'd promise the guys I'd go see a scary movie at the multi-hex tonight. Stupid Jack and Jill how did you even get in here? I was just shopping for a lady's shoes. Relax, Ashlyn. The perfect person will turn up. You're gonna have a great time, I'm sure. Catch you later, sweetie. <laughs> Ashlyn! Oh, just who I was looking for! Don't tell me. You want to go with me tonight? Uh, what? No, I'd feel super awkward at a forest fest. So much forest and festivity. Ugh. I'm looking for Cupid. Have you seen her? Not lately. Did you try Hocus Latte? Oh, uh, thanks. I will. <gasps> oh, Cupid! I really need to ask you something. <laughs> well, you see, it's kind of personal, and so I'm a little nervous, and... Uh... I find that at times like this, the best way is to just come out and say it. Okay. Will you go to the movies with me tonight? Oh, sure. I'd love to. Uh, I'll see you at eight. Great! I'll see you then. <laughs> hmm. Jack and Tilted! The sequel! <laughs> 
These boots are great! Cupid, there you are! You can see me? <laughs> From talking to Dexter, I was starting to wonder if I was invisible. I'm sorry, but I have good news. I think you're the perfect person to bring to the Forest Fest. What do you say? You know what? I seriously need a break from all this romance business. Great! Let's find you some new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> so the invitation says, just head into the Enchanted Forest, and the party will lead us to it. I see two girls alone in the wilderness. What's that? It's a bush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little scared of the woods. I mean, who knows what'll happen when it gets dark? <gasps> Someone's watching. The trees are closing in on me. Huh? I just can't take it anymore. Um, Cupid, we haven't even left school yet. Oh, hi, girls. Guess what? I get to cover the Blue Moon Forest Fest for my mirror cast, and I got an extra ticket. Did somebody say extra ticket? Hey, Belle. Wow. There really was someone watching us. Watching you? Oh, no. I was just passing by. And I overheard that my good friend Blondie Locks here had a plus one invitation to the fest. So come along now. Let's hit the cobblestone. Hi, guys. I'm ready to go. Oh, you're Blondie's plus one guest. Yeah, well, Blondie wanted someone to do her hair. Who's your friend? Guys, this is Faybell. We'd bring you if we could, honest. But we can't. Well then, you four had better get going. We'll make it up and do something together when we get back. Sounds great. If you ever do get back. Why, hello there, Cerise. <laughs> easy, easy. I was just wondering if you could give me a little travel advice. Um, I guess. Let's say I'm an innocent traveler in these parts. What's the worst and most horribly dangerous mistake I could make? Well, there's that. Enchanted forest is to the right. Dark forest is to the left. The worst mistake you could make is to go into the dark forest. Anyway, gotta run. Wait, but you just said... Uh, who cares? How do we handle their rejection? Send them in the wrong direction. The fork in the path should be right up there. All we have to do is follow that sign right into the enchanted forest. It doesn't look very enchanted from here. Aw, oh, come on, guys. We don't want to be late. <laughs> Let's see some school spirit. Ow, ow! Who's pumped for the tri-cathalon? <laughs> Your spirit outfits are the best of the best. Cedar, today we should focus on the true best of the best. Can you snap some pics for the very last chapter of our yearbook? The tri is the sporting event that ends the school year. Here we have track and sheen. And after training hard all year, Cerise Wood takes the championship. Hunter Huntsman is a favorite in archery. Can't beat that. Best of the best. And the last event of the competition, Extreme Croquet. I am so happy we decided the yearbook should show the most perfect and imperfect moments of the year. Students, it's time to grow our Ever After Annual Yearbooks. Anyone who wants to witness the planting of this year's e-corn should hurry up to the Legacy Orchard. <laughs> We conclude with the ceremonial planting of the e-corn. Traditionally planted at high noon. The e-corn, please. Apple? Raven? Is there a problem? Nope, no problem. Where's, Where's the e-corn? E I thought you, you had, had it. it. Oh, no. We left it on the bleachers. <gasps> I have an idea. Got it. Tell me you girls lost it. It'll be planted in a matter of moments. Ah! 
Perfect. I love it. What a great year. Fine work, yearbook committee. We hope future classes will love reading this yearbook as much as we loved making it. Gather round, children. This yearbook was from a very special class, including the famous Apple White and Raven Queen. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different end.